What I want to discuss is three ways that you can promote your merch by Amazon product. If you haven't yet, like, follow, subscribe. Thank you. All right, enough rambling. And once again, subscribe. So first way I wanted to discuss tonight was Facebook. All right, almost all of you guys use Facebook. There is plenty of ways on Facebook that you can promote products. Um, you can create a Facebook page. This is, um, this was my original drop shipping store page. It, uh, I built a unicorn themed audience. It's got about 12,000 followers and a private group of uh, about 2,000 right now. I kind of turned this store off, the drop shipping thing, and I've got some other ideas of what I'm going to do with this audience, but I have, you know, here's, I can see, uh, just published the other day, uh, one of my tank tops, you know, so I'm trying different ways on here. The engagement's gotten a little bit rough here, so trying to figure out some ways to bring that back to life. Um, other things, like I said, groups. A group just lets people share posts about unicorns. Um, and that's mostly what they do, but every now and then I drop in a link to a shirt here. I don't bombard them with a bunch of stuff. It's, it's important for you not to bombard people in any of these methods with sales after sale after sale. They just stop engaging with the content. Now the other thing you can do, um, another one of my pages is mostly, and I've got some ideas on how I'm going to tweak this a little bit, but it's mostly been about posting and letting friends and followers of it request shirts from me. They might say, hey, I want a shirt that says, you know, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. I share some shirts in here. I get some sales from it every now and then. It's got about 500 followers. It's mostly my friend and people message me there. Um, to request shirts and then just talking to people you know post on your profile that you make shirts and ask people hey if you need a shirt for an event I've gotten to do um, by joining other people's group on a salt and pepper shaker niche one time and I joined a salt and pepper shaker collectors group there was like 2,000 members in that group and by just going in there and engaging and talking with them. I got to know the admins a little bit and I just said, hey, I'm here, I'm learning about the niche because I want to make some shirts for you guys. And they said, oh, go ahead and make a post. And I was able to sell, I think like five, six shirts that day. I created a couple and said, here's a few I've done. Do you guys have any other ideas of things you would like that apply to your community? All of these groups have rules. Read and understand the rules. They may just have a flat out no selling products in their group. Don't break the rules. They're going to ban you and you're going to get blocked from posting messages in other groups. It's not worth it. Get in there, read their rules. Maybe they have like a monthly sales thread. Some groups have that where they say you can post whatever you want for sale in this thread. Ab abide by those rules. Let me just kind of talk about what I do on Instagram. My most successful method is to use place it. All right, so place it. What I do is I come here into the t-shirt mock-ups or the t-shirt mock-up videos. And what I do is I come up here and I mock up the t-shirt as um, it is on Amazon. So I can just come here, upload an image. This one will work. So I just take this and I post it on Instagram with targeted tags for whatever that niche is. So here was an elephant, retro elephant shirt. So then it comes up here. It's got the t-shirt like she's wearing it. I download it. I click download now. It's processing. It'll email me when it's ready. It can either do a 300 DPI if you're putting this on a poster if you're promoting things, or it'll do a 72 DPI image for um, web. I've also used these in my Shopify store. I did a very heavy photo themed uh, theme for a while. And instead of a mock uh, t-shirt, I used all place it's for all of the products and then once they got to the product page it redirected to like a flat mock-up from Printful. Then you just click download and it pops in right here and there we go. So that's how that works. The other tool I use, let's say this right here, you can't scare me I have two daughters, don't do that one. I'm pretty sure that's trademarked and that might be the people who have it, I don't know. But if I have this Chrome extension called the high res um, image downloader and you just right click on it and it downloads that right here and you can use that but it's not necessarily going to um, engage with the audience that's why a lifestyle mock-up works better on Instagram so thank you guys thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time